Welcome back to yet another video on modern AutoCAD for LAN surveyors. So in this episode, we are going to take a look at subdivision of a land. This video was actually a question asked by some of my subscribers, like uh, Hamza Jira. I think uh, Eric Mark was the first person that asked the question, and then Hamza now emphasized on the same question on land subdivision. So they made this comment on one of my previous videos that please provide a video for land subdivision from scratch. So well, from my, from what I understood from that question is most likely they are asking of if the land, for example, this particular land is to be subdivided maybe into two equal parts or maybe more, how to go about it. Or most likely the action of uh, subdividing this entire plot into several other plots, that is a layout of plots that will look like uh, this. So I, I will take a look at this subdivision of uh, layout plots in detail in another different video but in this video i'm going to look at how to subdivide this into two two equal parts this land is a is actually a very small land as you can see from the size it's not even up to half a hectare so it's a small land so we cannot create a layout using this but with this image i've shown you at least this is about 16 hectares so 16 hectares of land can be subdivided into many plots of land. So when you talk about land subdivision, there are many ways of doing it. And uh, one of the ways you can do it is to do it manually. So you can use the normal auto, uh, autocal tools for cutting, trimming, offsetting, measuring, and other, other tools that we have learned. To subdivide this kind of land into two equal parts but the problem arises when the land is not an irregular shape like what we have here this land is not an irregular shape so the problem now becomes a little bit compli complicated and you will need to have uh, some kind of specialized tools to be able to subdivide an irregular plot into uh, two equal parts or three equal parts or whatever amount of part you want to divided into so in this video we are looking at subdividing this plot into two equal parts so fortunately there are a lot of programs that have been developed by AutoCAD developers and then some of them are made available for free which we are going to use in this uh, video so this version of AutoCAD I'm using is the traditional version is this traditional AutoCAD so it doesn't have the capability to handle land subdivision automatically but if you are working with a flavor of AutoCAD like the civil 3d so it has the parcel uh, the parcel subdivision tool where you can just key in some parameters and then it will divide the tool for the parcel for you automatically so but here I'm using the traditional AutoCAD so I have no option than to do it manually or use a script a script written in uh, Lips programming language by other third party to handle this tax. So, but before then, let me demonstrate how we can do this maybe manually. So, assuming if I assume you have a plot of land that looks like this, so this is a regular shape, this is a rectangle of a regular shape, and then I can select it. And then break it into parts by using the explode explode command so if i select one of the sites i can see that the length is uh 29.004 uh, meters since i remember the unit of this plan is in meters so this drawing is in meters not any other unit so if i want to subdivide this all i need to do is to offset one of the sites to the center to have the exact uh, parcel or plot of land subdivided into two equal parts. 
So for example, if I need to do this, I can bring up my calculator. So let me use the quick calculator. And then I will enter the total length of the site, 29.004 divided by 2. And then I have the result as 14.502. So I will now use my offset tool. And then I'll offset at that distance of 14.502. Then I'll offset one of these sites. So by so doing, you can see that I have now subdivided this land into two equal parts. If I measure the area, you find out that the area should be equal. So let me pick my area to measure the area from for the plot on the left hand side. And then take note of the take note of the area as 10 to 10.082. Then I'll measure the area of the one on the right hand side as well. So as you can see, the area are the same. So we have 210 on this side, we have 210 square meter on the other side. So this is very simple. Because the plot was a regular shape, it was a perfect rectangle, so we were able to do it manually. But if you have a shape that looks like this, then doing it manually will take a very long time before you achieve the perfectly equal subdivision of this kind of land. So what? fortunately, as I've mentioned earlier, there are companies who have developed scripts or programs that can do this for you automatically, even if you are not using the AutoCAD Civil 3D. So if you are using the traditional AutoCAD, you should be able to install some of those uh, list, list programs that you can run to make this subdivision. So one of the programs I found was developed by a company called CAD, CAD Tools. So let me open up their website. So on the website, CAD Tools, CAD Studio, dot z cz so it's a chess based company that operates mostly within the central european region so and uh, at this point it is quite interesting to know that in future the company is changing its name to arcan system so most likely when when you are going to be watching this video this website would have changed from cardstudio.cz to a different uh, name as a uh, Arkans system. So this company developed a program called Split Area for AutoCAD. So on this page, you see the programs, you see the detail of the Split Area. So it's an AutoCAD lifts utility and it's a freeware that can automatically split an enclosed polyline or irregular area into a number of subdivisions defined by a cage. So this is the program we are going to use. So on this page, just scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on the download to download the program. So here you can now click on this little icon to save the program on your hard disk. So I have already done that and as you can see it here, it is listed on my tax bar. So if I open it up on my download folder, you see the file here. So this is a auto list program called split area. So just copy it to any location on your machine. So my I just copy it to a folder which is on my desktop and inside some other subfolders where I used to have other list programs. So save it there. So remember the location where you saved it. Then go back to the AutoCAD software. So from the AutoCAD environment, we are going to load the list program for splitting the area that was developed by Car Studio. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let me go back to the website and see if you can 
make use of some of the commands. So if I go back to the website, the usage, you see that the command to use the program is called split area. So if I copy it and then go back to AutoCAD and try to use it, you see the error message we are going to get before we load the program. So inside on the AutoCAD command line, type split area and then enter it. And then you will see that AutoCAD does not recognize the command. So it says unknown command split area. Press F1 for help. So the command is unknown. So let's load the program to be able to use it within the AutoCAD environment. So here I'm going to go to the manage manage menu. Then under the manage menu, I will now select load application. Or simply on the command line, I will just type in upload. So this should open up the same interface or the same window where we can load the program. So the speed speed area downloaded is here. So I'll just select it and then click on load. So from this window that opens up, it's asking me to always load or just load once. So if you want the this particular script to always load when you run when you launch a new window of the AutoCAD, you can use you can select always load. But if you want it to load just once, just click on load once. So here I just want it to load just once. So I'll click on load once. Anytime I want to make use of the, the script or the program, I can always come back to load it in future. So here I just load it just once. And then as you can see from the message here, speed area dot vlx successfully loaded. So it has been successfully loaded into my AutoCAD environment. I can now close it, close the window. So now if I go back to the command line, I type and then type in the same command for split area. You can see that the command is now uh, recognized and it's asking me, it's giving me the next instruction, which is to select the border of the enclosed area to split. So but I'm not ready for that now. Before I can make use of the tool on my drawing, I need to clean up the boundary of this uh, plot. But before then, let me quickly demonstrate it on a regular shape. So I'm going to make use of the rectangle. So I pick a rectangle and then draw a perfect rectangle. So after drawing the rectangle, so we needed to split this rectangle into two equal areas. So before we make use of the split area program, let me first of all determine the area of this uh, plot. So I pick my area tool and then select the object to determine the area. So as you can see, the area is given by 2252.671. We can divide it by two to find out the amount of area for half of the half of the plot. So 2252.671 divided by two. This should give us. 1126.3355. So half of this plot should be 1126 as seen on the calculator. So let's use the split area tool now. So on the command line, just type in split area and then enter it. Then the next instruction is asking you to select a border for the closed area. So the object to split must be a closed figure. It must be created with either a polyline or a polygon, like a square or uh, any number of a uh, side. So it must be a closed shape, not an open uh, figure or open object. So select the closed area, which is this. Then it's asking me to now specify the number, number of division either by number or by arcade. So I want to split this by number, just two. So select number and then type in two, then enter. Then it's asking me to pick direction of line of convergence. 
so I can speak the I can use direction to split this plot or use a point or user defined number or using the Voronio uh, cells. So, but I'm going to make use of a point of a direction. Sorry. So click on direction. Then now, first of all, then it's also asking me to specify whether I want the resulting bound the resulting subdivision to be either in boundaries or in subdivisions so i prefer it to be in boundary so that it will be a closed object so i use boundary so the direction i'm going to pick is in this direction from the top to the bottom so the way you see this yellow line that is how i want that's the direction in which i want the plot to be subdivided so we click on the opposite corner so as you can see the line there is a line of convergence now that is splitting the plot into two but even though it is not perfect we need to pick a point inside the first target of the lot which is here and then the second point in the other side of the lot is going to be here so the program will now use those information we have provided to split the plot into two equal area so this is the final result so this is one area and then this is also another area so if we use the area measure tool to measure the area of each of the subdivided plots and then compare with what we expect I will now select the object to see the area. So the area of this plot on the left hand side is 1126.342. So and if I look at it, if I compare with the calculation I have, I can see that yes, the size is almost the same thing. 1126.34. Then if I compare with the, with the area of the other plots on the right hand side. So I'll use the object option to pick this. So you can see that the area for this is also 1126. So the area is approximately equal to each other. As you can see, the, there is slight difference in just maybe 0 .0, 0 0 0.002. This is 342, while this is 3. So that is how to make use of the uh, area split area two. So I can delete this. Let me first of all delete the red one, and then you can see that the original uh, plot is still there. If I delete the green one, the original one too is still there. Let me delete everything now. So what we have done for this regular rectangle. Or regular shape right I'm going we are going to apply it here so but before then what I need to do is to I'm going to reduce some of these details so that we we'll focus on the plan itself so I'm going to off some of those layers so as you can see this is the importance of having your plan on different uh, layer creating different layer for your different objects on your plan so this allows you to off the layers that you are not interested in and then focus on the ones you are working on. So I'm going to off the boundary too of the legend. I don't need it. Then the scale, the stream, I don't need it. The title, I don't need it. So this is the plan. The plan is everything that is here. So at least I have less details now to to focus on so first things first i need to convert this into a boundary because the plot is made up of lines not polylines so it has, it has to be a close shape before the area program will work split area program will work so i need to use the boundary command bo for boundary and then pick a point inside a close shape to convert it to a boundary so after I pick that, hit enter, and then you can see now that the plot is now converted into a boundary.
So I can now make use of the split area tool. And notice that the split area created a split area uh, layer for us. So and it is the, it is the active current layer, and I'm making use of it for this uh, purpose. So on the command line, let's type split area, and then enter. Then we need to select the close object. Then I'm going to split by number, and then the number is going to, is going to be two. And then I want to make use of direction for splitting, and then I want my the split result to be in form of bounties. So where is the direction of split? So I need to split in this direction. Or let's say in this uh, in this direction. So I want the plot of land to be split horizontally like this instead of vertically the way we did it the other time. So to achieve that, all I need to do is to click on this side then pull a line across this yellow dashed line you are seeing is how I want the plot to be split. It. So I'll click on this side to have this line. So this convergence line is what I'm expecting the plot to be divided into. So now I need to fix, I need to pick a, a point in the first, inside the first side of the target lot. So this is going to be the first side of the first part of the target lot. Then pick a point inside the remainder lot far from the subdivision line. So I'm going to pick it some pick a point somewhere here in the remainder of the lot. And then the program will now process and subdivide the plot into two equal parts for me based on the parameter I've provided earlier. So this is the result. So you can see this the first subdivision is in green color while the second subdivision is in red color. So this plot is now subdivided into two equal parts. So let's confirm the area, the sizes. So if I pick my area to use object to measure the area for this first plot. So the area is giving us 237.56 so if I return my, open my calculator, and then I can do 237.569. So I'm keeping it. I will measure the area of the second part of the plot. Area measure, and then I'll use the object to measure this too. So the area of this is 237. So I'm going to do plus the second area, which is 237.568. So if I find the sum, you see that the result is 475.137. And that is exactly the total sum of the plot. If I go back and on back my, I think it should be under the scale. Yeah, under the scale, you see that the area is, the total area of the plot is this. And then what we got after subdividing the plot, uh, 237.56 or 57, and then 237.57, when the area was subdivided into two equal parts using the split area program provided by Cactus. So we can assume that the area is, the program is working uh, perfectly. And at least it has some very high degree of uh, accuracy. So just imagine if you have to do this manually, this will take you a very long time to really achieve the subdivision of this kind of uh, irregular shape. And notice that both land have access routes. So when you're subdividing a plot, there are some factors you need to put, take into consideration. And one of them is make sure, making sure that there is no landlocked plot. 
there is no plot of land that doesn't have an access to a route. So this is a very good subdivision for this very particular plot of land. So this is plot A. We can label them as plot A and then plot B. So let me quickly do that with the text tool. So this is going to be plot, plot 1 or plot 0, 0, 001. And then the second one is going to be plot 2. So let me move it. So the second one is now plot 2. And both of them have the same area. So I hope this have answered your question on uh, how to subdivide plot. Even though this one is just a simple subdivision into two equal parts. So if you need a more complicated uh, subdivision, you could specify more parameters or use a different method as provided by the split area program. So it is a good idea for you to explore some other options. But in this video, I'm going to leave it at this point. And I hope you have gotten the basis to build on for your real world project. So let's see in the next episode of this uh, video series. Have a nice day.